Hey folks, in this video uh, we can take a look into the configurations involved in setting up a local repository and uh, here I am using uh, HTTP service. So these are the steps I am doing. So I am installing a web server package, so HTTP using M utility. So if you are using some other operating system, so you need to use that operating system commands to do this. So for CentOS or Red Hat, any Red Hat flavored machine, so you can use this command. So then uh, start that service. So you need to find out uh, where is your HTTP root directory. Uh, then you need to uh, download those package and unzip and place those packages here. Then uh, we can <coughs> update these configurations in uh, your uh, YAM file so that every server would be able to connect to this uh, web server uh, repository and do the installation so I have downloaded the packages uh, okay for Cloudera manager package and this uh, parcel okay uh, so first thing I need to do is install the web server so you can use m y install httpd so this will uh, take a moment and it will uh, try to fetch this package from a repository uh, red hat repository whatever the repository configured and to try to install that package and whatever the dependent package so based on the network internet or network bandwidth so this uh, time varies so sometimes it takes few minutes to uh, like uh, it's all uh, based on the speed if we have to wait uh, till this uh, download and installation finish so now the installation is over so let's uh, try to start that service httpd start so uh, again if you want to know the status you can just check the status it is running so there is a chances like uh, you reboot the system and if you reboot it may not be up and running the next time to make it in the run level so that in case of next reboot this service should be always up and running so you can add that using this chk config command then whatever the service and turn on so if i do like this so next even in the next reboot if i do a reboot then automatically this service will be up and running so now the next step is we need to find out that http root directory so there is a configuration etc uh, http uh, okay so etc httpd then uh, conf will be there and inside the conf httpd.conf so we'll search with the root then i think uh, http somewhere you need to find out http root so i'm just using slash var <coughs> yes not http root the so document root so this is the default location where your web server uh, is looking okay so you need to copy your files to this location slash for www.html so and this is the configuration file in red hat so it's always uh, slash var uh, www.html okay and again if you want to place your packages or your uh, sources to some other directory so that you can change by changing this document root okay so uh, okay so i just uh, finished that and i have not added anything so let me note down this ip and uh, verify whether this is working or not so i can just use http colon slash slash so this ip so you will get a uh, test page if you have to wait so i'm not able to uh, i mean uh, get it here so something is wrong so maybe the firewall so my firewall is up and running so i just turn on the firewall ip table stop okay and then uh, try the same thing yes once i when i do this uh, ip table stop so i am getting this space so you need to make sure so your, your ip table at is turned off or at least open for this service so the next step is I, I have downloaded the packages so you similarly you can download any package and uh, unzip into this document root directory tar zxvf 
so I am using and the iPhone C is the destination slash for www HTML so it will unzip and create a new folder under this directory okay so my package has some uh, I mean the during the download it got corrupted or something but still I, I unzip this one to this directory and if you go to this one and uh, type this cloudera manager see you would be able to see that so this is the url you need to take okay so this is the url you need to take and configure you can configure your ram m directory similarly the other packages or the components also you can create for creating the parcel also so you can what you can do is go to the document root slash for www html and create your own directory like mkdir parcels and inside the parcels just to create the version okay mkdir 5.10.0 whatever the version and copy the parcels and manifest into this location and uh, make a note of this uh, uh, address so document root no need to uh, use just use http slash slash what is the ip address okay so maybe 192 168 uh, 232 133 then slash this part you need to use so this is the parcel uh, location similarly for cloud or manager location also you need to note down Okay, so this is how we can uh, configure a local repository using a, a HTTPD service. Okay, so you can use uh, this service HTTP and also you need to make sure the service HTTPD is always up and running. So otherwise, so your parcel or your local repository won't work. So I hope uh, this helped you. So if you like the content, so please uh, click the like button. Also subscribe to my channel. So if you have any comments, so please use the comment section so i will try to uh, address that okay so thank you bye